I'd like to take the opportunity to demonstrate the termination of our LMR 600 cable with our Easy Style end mail connector, our Easy 600 NMH X. Whenever terminating the cable, first thing, best if you can get a nice, clean, sharp cut on the cable. This is our CCT03, recently introduced cutting tool. Does a great job, spring loaded. What you wanna do is just go a couple inches back from the end of the cable, place your finger through the hole, just spin this around the cable. Cuts through the jack and the braid pretty quickly. And what it does is it's scribing the center conductor. It's cool. This tool works ideally, you know, very well on 400, 240, 400 and smaller. On this 600, you may want to just give it a little bit of push up towards the end. And nice, clean, sharp cut. Nice round cable. You're not crushing the cable in any way. At this point, you take our silicone lubricant, put a drop on the cable, take our WSB-600 boot, Slide it onto the cable. Take the crimp ferrule, slide it onto the cable. Take the CST-600 prep tool. Make sure there's nothing stuck inside one. You pop it onto the cable. And you push down on that thumb switch as you're spinning it. And once that thing bottoms out all the way, just make an extra spin or two. Leave it depressed and pull it. And that takes that pellet right off. It takes the pellet, makes a nice clean cut in the outer conductor, takes the adhesive off the center conductor. You flip the tool around, there's a deburr tool there. Line that deburr tool up at the center connector and just a little, maybe half a dozen back and forth. Put a nice little chamfer, take all the burrs off that center conductor. Now in terms of side two, you have a clamp setting and a crimp setting. You wanna make sure you're set on crimp. You place the tool over the cable and just like an old fashioned pencil sharpener. Just let the tool do the work. You don't have to, you know, there's very, very little effort required. You'll feel it. Just like that, it spins freely, you pop it off. If you moved all the jacket without damaging the braid wires in any way, you now take our easy connector. We call it easy because there's no soldering. It's gold plated, beryllium copper, spring finger. Most of the connectors we sell today are easy style. It'll make a nice snug fit by design. Push it and turn it. You feel it pop onto the center conductor itself. You bring the crimp ferrule up. And the braid wires you'll notice are right where you want them to be. And that's also good confirmation. You want those braid wires to come right to that ring in the back of the connector. And now what you'll do is you'll crimp it with a 610 hex die. We have a couple different options. We have our CT600, or we have our universal tool, which has uh, changeable dies. Use either one of these tools. The CTU is certainly um, a very, very good tool, very universal. You can pop all kinds of dies in there. It gives you a little more leverage. It's a more costly tool. This is a very economical tool, this uh, CT600. You want to crimp it just once at the very back of the connector, right where that ring is. That's where you want to crimp it. You don't want to go back and crimp it a second time, and crush a jacket, crush the core, change the impedance. At this point, this uh, lubricant dries pretty quick. I'll put another drop here. There's rings in the back here. There's ribs here. The, the ribs will lock onto those ribs on the back of the connector, create an IP67 seal, and also create a nice strain relief. Thank you very much.